Good day, guys. Welcome back to Knock Loose 4x4. Today we're back in Tulangi and we're at the start of Rocky Track. Now, last time I wasn't able to drive the hardest section. This time we've got a rear diff lock. Let's see how we go. So if you guys have seen our previous video, we've just smacked in an LTG rear e-locker. So I've used it a few times out bush and boy oh boy, it definitely makes a difference. I'm keen to test it out on this track to show you guys essentially how good a rear locker is and how it works. So let's get into it. We're aired down to 16 PSI and yeah, we're gonna give it a crack. You're just going to have to give it a little bit more, mate. Alright, so as you can see, she's pretty shaly and pretty wet. So that is with no rear diff lock. That's an open diff at the minute. So you can see we're just scrambling for traction. So now we press the magic button. Rear diff lock will engage because it's got the magnetic. So um, yeah, let's see if it makes it easier. Yeah, go that. Do that same line before, it, went, it was going well. Up that section, so I don't know how we're gonna go on the harder one, but you can definitely feel the rear diff lock there just pushing you up. So I'm really happy with when it engaged and how it went there. So yeah, we'll keep on moving on. All right, so you guys might be wondering why did I pick a rear locker over a front locker? So essentially, the 105 series and many other cars come factory equipped with the LSD. Now, this car has nearly done 300,000 Ks, and my LSD was getting pretty worn out. So I thought a rear locker would be a good option as it's easier to push a wheelbarrow than to pull a wheelbarrow. So in terms, it's easier to the car to get pushed up instead of the front pulling it. So one day we'll hopefully get a front locker, but for now I'm really happy with how the rear locker's going. It's um, pulling me up a lot nicer instead of what the LSD was doing and I was just kept losing traction. This is the hard section of rocky track and it is a lot more wet than last time. Last time I was here, so I've done this track twice. I've done it once in the wet, which I didn't drive this. Um, and I've done it in dry where I tried driving this and obviously I had to winch. So it's going to need a fair bit of commitment. We're down at 16 odd PSI. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll see if the rear diff lock helps out at all. And we'll compare the difference between an open diff and a lock diff. So keen for it. Revlin. So that 
rear lock and foil. So, shit, that was dead set first attempt. And um, I'm stoked on that. You can definitely feel it there. Now, if you remember the last video, I barely committed. So this time I'm going to commit a lot more. Because I know my car can do it. So, see how we go in this little section here. Just there. A little bit of left hand down. Yep, just there. Yep, Moments like these, we can also see that a front locker would dramatically help you in this situation. It's your back, it's your rear end. Um, that's the section I couldn't make it up last time without winching, so I'm really, really ecstatic. Had to give it a lot more. Now, last time I don't reckon I even got past 2,000 rev, but um, as you can hear there, she got a limiter a bit, so not ideal, not good for the tyres, but at the end of the day, it's just, you know, we're out here having fun doing it all responsibly. Straighten up. Good. Keep doing the harder section and um, yeah, we'll see where it leads us. 
that. Could you just imagine? If I could control you. Right, it wouldn't even be a competition at this point. I'd already be at the top. You'd be towing him up, mate. What? You'd be towing him up. At the top with you. Ignore the fact that mine's blown up. <laughs> So I'm going to see if I can do a quick demonstration for you guys to show you essentially what a rear diff lock does or a lock and put it back. So we've got a small embankment here that I'm going to try and drive up. Now theoretically being open diff, once my flex max is out it shouldn't spin anymore. So you'll see only one wheel spin and then with the rear diff lock on you'll see both wheels. So we'll flex up and see um, if we can get it to work. Tucking. So that's with the diff lock not on. As you see, wheel spinning. So now we've got the rear diff lock engaged. So I'll show you what it does. So remember before how it was single pegging. Now, when we go to accelerate. Both wheels are now spinning. So that is essentially what a locker does. So. Uh, that's probably the best theory we can give it to. Uh, that lucky truck completed, done and dusted, didn't have to winch once. So, I don't know if you can tell, I'm pretty ecstatic right now because the last time I was here um, and we filmed it, I did actually have to winch. So, really, really happy with how the LTG rear locker went. Uh, once again, same issue with the e-lockers, it does disengage. But for an e-locker, when you compare it to other brands for the price, you're definitely getting a very, very good product and it's very reliable. I really hope you guys enjoy this sort of video. Um, if you want to see more of the Cruiser out bush, make sure you like and subscribe. Pat and I are pumping out as much content as we can at the minute. Especially with this rear diff lock, I want to uh, tackle some now bit harder stuff and um, hopefully film it all as we go. So, take it easy guys, we'll see you on tracks.